Jewish and Muslim communities conventionally you would think as being opposed to each other. Because of the conflict in the Middle East, situations became very volatile. Thousands upon thousands came to vent their anger. The demonstrators set fire to the Danish embassy. What would it mean for me, the rabbi of the largest hill out in the country, to stand shoulder to shoulder with Muslims? Rabbi Sarna and Imam Khaled have such a close friendship. I had never had a Muslim friend before. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking about like my first crush. <laughs> we had 15 Muslim students and 15 Jewish students go down to New Orleans for a week. The first few sessions was pretty tense. After a day or two, Khaled and I realized that this was really, really working. You come together and talk, but you also come together and do. I remember after we prayed together, several Muslim students coming over to me, saying, you know, we never thought that a rabbi could understand us in this way. How do you learn the narrative of somebody who is not coming from your walk of life? The freedom of speech ought to come with the responsibility to listen. A young Jewish man said to me, in our tradition, when a rabbi walks into a room, we'll stand up out of respect. And he said, you know, going forward, anytime I'm sitting in a room and you walk into it, I'm gonna stand up for you. <laughs>